In this video, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on how you can trace a bitmap and have it be a little bit more than just a black and white vector. So here I've got my Spider-Man picture loaded up. I have the picture selected. I go to path, trace bitmap. My little trace bitmap window opens up. I'm gonna bring my brightness threshold down to 20 and I'm gonna click update, looks pretty good. I'll click apply and that gets me my typical black and white vector. Okay, now this is my just, uh, it's actually just a black vector. There's really no white in it at all because the background, as you can see, is a checkerboard background. But in this video, I'm gonna show you an, another option that you may wanna use. It's always nice to have different tools in the tool belt. Again, I've got this selected path, trace bitmap, but instead of single scan, I'm gonna go over to multiple scan. And from there, I'm gonna to go to brightness steps. I'm gonna bring this down to two, which is the minimum, when I click update, you're not gonna see much of a difference. But when I click apply, you'll see it actually creates a gray in there as well. There's a black and a gray. And I think that sometimes, not always, but sometimes this can be better if you wanted to create a vector that's got a little bit of color to it, even though the color is gray in this case. Now, when I click on the Edit Paths by Node tool over on the left-hand side, we can hover over little Spidey here and we can see there's a bunch of nodes. I'm gonna zoom right in and you can see these are all nodes, these are all editable, this is infinitely scalable, this is an actual vector. You can also go down to the bottom and you can select a color. So in this case, I'm gonna select the actual image and I'm gonna select blue and we can see the whole image now becomes blue. So when you're monkeying around with this, just remember Control Z or Control Z is undoing any changes that you make. I'm gonna select Edit Pass by Node. I'm gonna hover over Spider-Man and I'm gonna select the layer. And now when I select blue, you'll see just the black has now turned to blue. And I can change that now to red or whatever else I want. So by selecting the nodes, you can actually change the look and the feel. Just one different way that you can make your designs a little bit different if you're making a t-shirt or you're making something. Of course, you would not use a trademarked item. I'm simply using Spidey here because he's very easy to recognize and so you can see the changes as they go through. I hope you found that video helpful. Very, very quick walkthrough. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your Inkscape skills. Thank you for watching.